existed between us. I want to weave you into the fabric of my being. I want to admire you. I want to laugh with you, reminisce with you. I want us to drink too much wine, sing Paloma Negra, and cry together. What were you like as a little girl, running carefree in fields of flowers? I imagine you safely nestled in your father's arms as you crossed the Alfaso Juarez border, Ooh. maybe to visit the family that got left behind when your grandparents crossed without papers, or just to go shopping. I see your tiny brown fist clutching a paleta, savoring the sweetness of Mexico on your tongue. When did you stop crossing? When did you develop a bitter taste in your mouth for people who at one time were just your neighbors? We are not so different, you and I. We are women. We are ambitious and smart and powerful. We are brown. We advocate for children and women, victims of abuse. Did you ask them for papers before you helped them? Would you now? What was it like to trade off your people for power, your people for position? Ooh. Did you even allow yourself to think about it? It would be wonderful to be proud of you, to hold you up, celebrate you. I wish I could say, Mira, she's one of us, but you feel so far away, so unlike a sister. Let me say it again. You feel so far away, so unlike a sister. You feel foreign. You're a stranger. I am afraid of you, of what you will do to hold on to the power that was handed to you, gifted by people who see you as a joke, a farce. You are being used to divide and conquer, governor in brown face. I'm afraid of what desperation will make you do next. Yeah. I want to understand you, but I don't. I can't. I wouldn't. Not to my own. Not to anybody. Do you get lonely? Do you get tired? Do you wish to seek comfort in your people, only to find? We aren't there.